hi everyone and welcome back to the channel so you have seen my year-long project plan that will change by time trimester and you have seen 10 products in this one as you can see by the title of the video it's my second project pan and this is pan my eyeshadow palette and I will be very honest with you okay I have chosen one that is an easy one the reason why it's an easy one is because it's the one that I basically wear every day to work this is what I'm wearing it today and with the highlighter that you have seen in the last project and this already has some progress as well but the main reason I chose this palette it's because between all my palettes this and only another one they have a 12 month life uh, shelf so I need to wear them more but I do feel that this will be an easy one maybe I will be kicking my ass after uh, but I do really feel like it's an easy one so this palette I will let you know first is the Revolution Pro No Regrets uh, shadow palette this has like five shadows at the moment you will see only four shadows I will talk about every one of them with you and this is the palette so normally it's like this this is the first one uh, there is no name, so I will just say that this is basically my all lids uh, shadow. This is the basically the color of my eyelids. Uh, so I always use it as a base, and this is like um, yeah, it's just your skin skin color type. The second one is a brown, a light brown. And I use it normally as a transition shade and you can see that these two have pan already this one I hit pan after like basically 10 uses uses and then this one it took a little bit longer but not that much and the reason why is basically I wear this two every day for work and the reason that I feel like I hit pan so fast is because they are very 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 powdery so that's why then you see that a third shade <laughs> is missing and maybe you're asking yourself Katya did you pan it wow and I'm like no no so this was a press pigment and it was a gold press pigment I didn't like that shade at all to be honest but I was going to wear it Be the reason why I didn't like it's because even if I wet my brush it didn't like pick it up nothing I had to use my finger which I don't mind but when I was using my finger I could s like see and feel it like crumble so that's why I didn't like that shade that much and I didn't like as well the color of the gold I didn't felt it suit my Skin or my preference you know but I was using it I used it like five times and then imagine because you can you could see in the last video that I dropped things I did drop this <laughs> and this was the only shadow that was like whew, like all done all, all dead like all on the floor and it was such a mess on the floor that I was like girl I'm not going even to try to pick it up and just do it like I, I'm not going it's it's a mess on the floor I, I'm not going to use it so I just cleaned my floor and I gave this one as a done done shade so that's why so we have only four shadows to work to so the fourth shadow and the third to work is a slightly darker than the second brown and this is a slightly darker brown and I have been wearing more now I didn't wear it as much I have been wearing it more on my outer corner and then we have this bronzy shade that I have to use my finger to work with it if not it doesn't 
show anything um, with my brushes so and I think this one will be the hardest to hit pan or even to finish because like I'm going with my fingers so I feel like it's a bit harder and it's not as powdery because this is not a powder um, well it is a powder but it's like a um, metallic shade let's say they say it's a glitter shade but I feel like it's more on the metallic side uh, so yeah this is my palette as you can see I will put a picture as well from it from the 1st of January and this is what I'm working with my goal with this is to finish it up I really want to finish all the shades uh, because like I said I feel like it's an easy one to finish uh, this is basically the one that does my looks for work because I work in an office so it's the most neutral and like easy to go and this is a, like an easy palette to have with you as well I do have other ones and I if I finish this if if okay guys if I finish this before the end of the year my goal is to start another one but only if I finish all of it like all of it before December 2023rd so this is what I'm working with um, if you ask me do you think it's possible for you to finish before the end of the year I will be optimistic and I will say yes I do think that it is possible but I do know myself as well I know that I don't wear makeup every day um, it will depend on my schedule of work if I will wear makeup or not and all of that jazz you know like and many many times on the weekend I I do wear this one as a base one because it's it's whatever I, I cannot even see this it's a base one and I normally go for other looks because they are not as uh, neutral or like office appropriate so on the weekend I normally go with my other palette and yeah so I do think it's possible but I don't want to put the horse before the carriage or something like that and yeah so this is my smallest video and I will be updating you as well probably second week of February you will be seeing this in the third week of January but you will see the update on the second week of February so yeah let me know if you're working in any palette um, how long it takes you normally to finish a palette do you finish a palette I never finish a palette before so just just let me know all of the things if you have this palette what do you think about it like do you think that I can do it until the end of the year let me know in, in the comments below even if you don't have the palette let me know if you think that I can finish before the end of the year and yeah I will see you in the next one bye